Hi everyone, July 6, 2023. Super sad cat because I don't think anyone is at the airport. I'll deal with it though. We're just gonna work on an art project. And we'll see where it goes. Because you don't have to have bunches of money to do art projects. Or just spread, spread the word on something. All you have to do is like, you know, recycle. Stuff like that. We're just gonna put like little messages out there. I mean, people are so trashy, they throw stuff away all the time. I'm not throwing anything away. I'm throwing out useful information. Just little pieces of happiness. That's all it is. There for the right people. If they need it. It's for some reason, when I put my mind to something, I typically win at it. I'm happy, I have fun. Ugh. And then some guy comes along and messes it all up. I don't know if this is going to be sticky or not, so this might work well for us, but it might not. It's an experiment. I'm trying not to be like super loud because I am, you know, in a public space. So it said it was iron on. I guess it really is an iron on. And I could cut it into little strips. I was gonna make little pan flags out of it. We'll see how that goes. But it also looks like love. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Just some little missing pieces. I'll make out on a mission. I'm gonna keep one for O. Did you know she got the Skittle Award? <laughs> because she was so colorful. 
a little baby cat. She's always been a fantastic cat. She didn't give me any problems whenever she was in utero. She did scare me a little bit. She was born with her cord wrapped around her neck three times. That was really scary. I prayed to God for help on that and I told him that I would try to be the best person that I could be. And I tried to own up to that, try to do that to the fullest extent possible. Went into shock. You know what I just thought of? When she goes to California, if she goes to California at some point, it's actually a really good strategy because she's probably going to go to the potty. So as long as a crafty cat puts little fun things out there, she might see one. Hopefully it doesn't freak her out. Not like a stalker or anything. I'm a mommy cat. She's my baby cat. She just thinks that she's a super big cat. She thinks that she's all by herself, and she's not. She's never all by herself. Ugh, she doesn't even know she's a baby brother. Ridiculous. Like, and it's ridiculous because it's always guys that mess everything up. Like, yeah, I was really busy. I apologize for trying to, like, to, for being so stupidly busy. In retrospect, like, maybe, just maybe, I would have figured some stuff out. This makes me think of her so much. Oh, I should keep this. Look, it's mom. And then it's wow. It just depends on the perspective. Do you see? Moms have been trying to do stuff for a long time. I'm just taking chances. That's all I'm doing. Just little happies. We have confetti crayons. You know, these crayons just don't. I mean, I hope there's more sparkly. I don't know. The following is an announcement of the Transportation Security Administration. Small containers of 3.4 ounces will be loaded into the shells and aerosols. They pass through the security checkpoint. These items, as they comfortably use a four size bag, will be removed from your carry on baggage and placed in the bin separate from your other carry on.
sweetie, I bought these for you. Um, oh, I didn't even realize I could, sorry guys. I bought these because they made me think of the pan flag, like that. Um, I might end up using them, and look, there's even a little butterfly that made me think of you. So, we'll see how that goes. I might be able to, like, make other people happy, trying to find you to make you happy. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm like, if you guys had a message that you needed to get out, hypothetically, she was like, he was making some videos. Hypothetically, if you guys needed to get a message out, you wouldn't have to spend any money. All you'd have to do, hypothetically, is use the tools that are available to you. And like, even just this, like this is very grassroots and homemade. I'm literally putting, making my trash turn into messages. And like, if you have stickers, you could end up like, like for me, I want people to know that I'm a mom looking for their child. So I could do mom and then I could do wow. I could like use crayons and like put this on the back of a stall or something and scribble it. I mean, what's it? What's what's the worst that's going to happen? It's going to give someone job security or it's going to entertain someone. I mean, graffiti has been an art form for years and years and years and years and years. Same with this guy. Like it has a little bit of stickiness to it. So like if I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that my life was like unicorns and rainbows, all I'd have to do is stick this on there and then like a doodle it and then put a little message inside of it. It's super cute. I could do that like that. And like combine the two together, mom, and then little unicorn, and then put like my name on it or something, hypothetically. I mean, it would be technically graffiti, but I mean, unless you put your name on it, who's gonna know? It's like, what if you're, you know, a YouTube person and you help someone? Hmm. I'm gonna split this one. Cause that looks kind of cool by itself. I could do it like this. I could do it like that. Like it's a it's a mixed message thing. And then this one is clearly a unicorn unless you put it on its side. Or you put it like that. Like there's just a bunch of different it always looks like a unicorn. It just does. And then this just looks like I had a scrap piece of paper. The world is your oyster. <laughs> like Charlie's dinosaur treats. These are from the Dollar Tree. You literally have trash everywhere. All you need is some type of writing utensil, from crayons to markers to pens. I'm gonna take you in the bathroom in a little bit and show you like how you could send a message if you wanted to, hypothetically. I'm not going to leave messages. I'm just going to say that hypothetically, you might need to leave a message to someone. And because of my marketing experience, this might be helpful to somebody. So even like this, this looks like trash. Do this, cut it up, and yeah, it takes longer because it's homemade. And if you make too much, then you just like, you just end up keeping some. And then you use them in other places. Like every time you go to the bathroom, you just have a little message to send out there to somebody. You can do it big, you can do it small. As long as you have something to adhere it, or you have a marker if you're gonna be like a little graffiti artist. It's up to you. You can always make messages, guys, gals, me's now. Sending mixed messages is not fair or fun. It doesn't help anybody out. All it does is upset people. So let's not like send mixed messages out to people, okay? I know, I could be a hypocrite. I'm just literally just a friendly person. Normally it takes me a while to realize when people uh, like me. I'm getting better at it. It's only because people that are close to me point it out to me all the time. And my mommy kind of got mad at me. She's like, oh, you're not supposed to say to guys like you. Uh, literally, they do though. Like, they tell me. <laughs> they tell me like what to watch out for. Stuff like that. I don't know. Like I'm happy because like uh, knowing that people were attracted to me 
kind of help me out because people that are attracted to you sometimes do bad stuff. They'll get you, they'll act like they like you in a not romantic way, all platonic y. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, boom, there's some romantic stuff. And you're like, uh, nobody, nobody. I did not want to do this. And then pretty soon, next thing you know, you become someone that doesn't want to hold or hug people because it's uncomfy, because it kind of brings back all the trauma that you've had to endure with people trying to take advantage of you and all this other stuff. And then for some reason, because the people in the city have had that happen too, and they see you still all bright, sunny, and perky, because at some point in their life, they're bright, sunny, and perky, and then people decide to be poopers to them, and they become very possessive, and they want to take care of you. And you know what I just thought of? If I went on Vistaprint, and I just made a stamp, I can make a stamp and I could like mass produce all of this stuff. And because my hand is going to be so super tired at the end of this. All right, so we have orange and green for markers. So basically any of the trash that I have to do, I'll do it. And since I feel like I have more than I need for the bathrooms and stuff, I'm gonna put my markers, my writing utensils in one container, which is right, right over here, mm -hmm. just in a little Dollar Tree bag. And now that I keep seeing like the Made in China thing on the Dollar Tree bag, now I'm kind of conflicted on them. I don't know. And they did take out the middle guy, literally. The Dollar Tree was like the cheapest one and then the family dollar was like the most, ex or yeah, the family dollar is the most expensive Dollar Tree. And they took out Dollar General and Dollar General was literally the middle guy. So like that makes me really nervous. I'm just a cuckoo cat. I don't know. I always get nervous when things get a little too big because then they have too much power and control. Most of the time, people abuse that power. And I did get to a point where I was all powerful. Not like, you know, Dollar Tree powerful, but powerful for me. Like I ended up making some good money just doing what I was doing. Like if I can get something to write on this, I don't have to carry it or something. I'll do a test. Chalk thing's not going to work. Um, this is a temporary thing. There's a parking stop behind me on the upper end of the These areas are available for immediate loading and unloading only. Unintended vehicles will be towed or mobilized in line. Smoking and making are only allowed outside and designated areas. Mm. If I had a permanent marker, it would work. I don't have my handy dandy apron. We'll let that dry for a minute and come back to it. Ooh. Do you know what I do have? I do have paint markers. They're right on glass. She's right on this. And before you guys ask, it's because literally there's stuff right here. You know, oh, I hope if you were telling people that I drove 18 hours, it wasn't meant as an insult. It's actually kind of impressive that I was able to drive that straight. I'm very proud of being able to ut properly utilize my body because my body has been really bad. It's been aesthetically pleasing, kind of a pain in the butt since I was 19. It was ridiculous a little at the beginning of my life too, but man, it's been really bad. We'll let that try and see how that goes. And we have a dollar tree receipt. I'm gonna get in trouble because I'm gonna be like littering in a bathroom or something.
Make sure you don't have any personal identifying information on your receipt so that way nobody can try to prove that it's yours. So like this is just now a random little thing. This is now just a random little thing. This one does have the last three, the last four, which could be, yeah, that whole thing is going to go. Your message can be small, it can be big. Just depends on the person. That's it. So, we write smile. Totally looks a like mess, but you know what? It's a starter. So this guy can go over here. There we go. See? Just a little bit better. That's all I gotta do. Just keep writing stuff on the stuff. Let's go back to this and see if it's still there. It still doesn't look like it's dry. It's, I'm not sure. Hmm. We'll see. And just for clarification's sake, I'm doing all these so that I can just start handing them out to people like the people I met today. So like if somebody happens to copy my penmanship and like leave them in different places, it's not a me thing. It's just somebody else. Because I am just waiting at the airport to see if my child pops up, maybe. You know what, this might be how I, I bought this for them because I like that it had the horses. Now I feel bad because I'm going to disseminate it. So just so you know, I was going to give this to you. But this is very, very helpful because this has a wealth of information. So I'll probably keep these two for you so you could know. Or you know what, this all started in July. I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah. Well, what's on the other side? November 2024. All right, this started in July. We'll keep August. And we'll keep November, and then we'll take out the middle. Yeah, so 
So this is for you. So that way I can let you know on July 6th. I don't even have a pin. I was keeping a pin in my bosom, but now I don't have a pin. So now I gotta just put on here the like. Oh, that's fitting. It just tore off off screen. <laughs> it's a backwards L. That's for you. I just leave some little glitter places too. Why not to just use the other side of that paper? Ooh, and these were a really super good idea. So like Dollar Tree has these and these like give you pizzazz. And all these little crayons give you pizzazz. And we'll do a test. Oh look, Wonder Woman. Or is it Mighty Mom? Ha ha ha. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> because I forgot I played with this before. Mighty Mom. Because it's like a mommy protecting her baby. Now it makes me sad. I want to be a mommy, mighty mom. I feel like I'm a mighty mom. Mighty mom with some bad habits that everybody's gonna try to tear apart because uh, I'm such a bad person. Not a bad person. Liv, Leo, I'm going to start keeping mementos for you. I have other mementos for you with horses and stuff. And I've been to Chincoteague, and I want you to go to Chincoteague with me at some point. The following is an announcement for the Transportation Security Administration. Small containers of 3.4 ounces or less will be left. Okay, I'm going to be really upset. Because I had tape. Okay, good. And like, this is masking tape, but it's really cheap, or it's painter's tape, whatever. It works. In a pinch, you can use whatever you need to. And maybe the middle of this being missing will help someone. Because it is pretty horsey. Oh, so each page should have a horse. No, each page doesn't have a horsey on it. All right, well, let's make sure that we have the horsey sides out. You guys can literally get this stuff at the Dollar Tree and just watch me on how I write my name. And so you could end up doing the same thing and blaming stuff on me because I would never leave these things in an airport. I mean, not without a good reason, but you know, graffiti and stuff. I guess now people are just going to like blame me for everything. Ugh.
at us. We could be like changing history, hypothetically, maybe. If we were, this would be like the lowest, the lowest, <laughs> the lowest budget ever. <laughs> and it would be like all grassroots. And it would be like so many firsts all together. So people would just be like, did that really happen? That didn't happen. But like you guys did crazy stuff before. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> like I, I wasn't even watching. And like somebody told me, they're like, hey, that guy got elected. I was like, huh? That guy? Like that, the guy that does this stuff? How did that even happen? I don't know. It just kind of happened. Okay. I don't know. I'm just kind of disappointed in the whole process because everybody's like, oh, one vote doesn't matter. I'm going to just write in Mickey Mouse. Well, write in my name. Just if you guys like get extra motivated and stuff and like this isn't all just a cuckoo bird thing, then um, yeah. Oh, it's the little birthday cards. Okay, another memento for my kitten. Actually, for my three kittens. Now I feel bad about the little things because those I can get at other Dollar Trees, but like these, you know what? Somebody might need to see this. In any event that this does work, I feel like we need some boys because, um, we can't go in the boys' bathroom. We can't. I don't know. If, I'm not going in the boys' bathroom. Like, boys' bathrooms, you know. Just saying. We need, we need, we need boys. We need boys to help. Maybe I'll find some boys. I made a boy. Technically, like, depending on who you're talking to, I made, like, two boys. I don't know. Figuring out the rules on all this stuff. I hate to separate a crown from a happy birthday, but someone might need to see this. So hopefully you guys like my little art project. And hopefully you guys can go to the Dollar Tree or wherever and get the same materials because then you get to see like the whole thing. There's probably another mom out there that's doing exactly the same thing. So, like, if this happens to be found somewhere, like, it's just a really small world because coincidences happen all the time. it up. Well, I just need to get it this way. Hopefully these little horsies get to people and make them happy. My little horsies are just gonna go on my trailblazer and I'll probably misplace them and 
I won't know what I did with them because my life is just such a mess and my truck's always dirty and my houses are always dirty and I just need to go around fixing all my stuff and not worry about any of the other problems that are going on in the country. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just a dumb, dumb girl that's making some jokes and acting like, oh, see, this is hard. Oh, not hard. Not hard at all. No oh, cheese. There's like all these holidays. I gotta find out what that is. I don't know what that is. Ugh, I keep doing that. Man. I didn't know the Victoria Day was right before a certain birthday. <laughs> Small world. So many coincidences. How do I just not know some things? This is just ridiculous. My brain just doesn't care. I just care about fixing stuff. I don't need all the details unless all the details are very relevant to what's going on. Like I really do have to go potty in a little bit super duper I have to go potty and all the horsies all the horsies are backwards look horsies you're gonna mess me up you and these horsies and there's no holidays on that side we at least have these holidays on this side
<laughs> Hello. Good, how are you? Oh, good. <laughs> That's great. You're welcome. Have a great night. So we have a June, we have a July, Canada Day, Flag Day, Juneteenth. Oh, this one's got a bunch of them. This one is like super duper important. I'm just a crazy cat, showing you guys all the different things that you could do if you wanted to, and like cover the world with little happies and smiley faces and rainbows and unicorns, even though there's a bunch of poopy stuff that's going on. Look, it's not that hard. I'm literally showing you guys. And I'm gonna have to make sure that all the little things have happy faces on them because like, then I'm gonna be a hypocrite if I don't do that. And we have a civic holiday. Questions? YouTube. At Michelle. Fix it. Four. Oh. Smiley face. But you. I'm just a cuckoo crazy cat. Just a silly goofball. Just a weirdo. Whatever you guys want to call me. It's socially acceptable for me to talk to my phone. So it is socially acceptable for me to stare at my phone, which I'm not really staring at you guys because I'm like, I don't know, doing work like always. Um, but it seems like everybody else is always on their phone. So if I just like talk to myself and I say that I'm do doing social media stuff, it's like, oh yeah, it's totally normal. Because now it's normal to like be obsessed with yourself for some reason. Don't know, just is. Just making cuckoo stuff here. All right, we have happy faces on these. We have happy faces on these and these and these. We don't have a happy face on this one. So now we have a happy face here. And this one needs a happy face. We have to make sure that we have happy faces. Even sad faces can be happy faces sometimes. You don't have to like only feel good whenever you cry. Sometimes just getting a project done it really does. Are you kidding me? There's an ant that made it in here. There's so many ants right now, it's just ridiculous. All right, so these guys are officially done. I did just graffiti there. That was completely accidental. Don't sue me. All right, and those are going to go, nope, they're going to go over here. And we're gonna do a little smiley face on this one. Smiles. Smiles for everybody. So if you had a message that you had to like create for people, you could just go to an airport and sit at a table, or better yet, do it in your home. And uh, then, you know, you need to go potty. Maybe. Lots of potties all over the place. Maybe, maybe. Kind of baby. Your smiley face. Boop, boop, boop. 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 Okay, this one is too small. But if somebody can read it, then you know what happened. It just doesn't have a smiley face. That they should smile at themselves for being able to figure that out. Oh, I found another horsey. All right, so our message ones are done. Uh, in honor of kitchen, this will be the special prize one. So if anybody brings this back to me, I don't know. Maybe I'll like give them a hug or something. Something I don't know. A side hug. Then I'll probably be uncomfortable with, unless you do something like super de duper de awesome for me. Oh, we can do a scavenger hunt. You guys can try to find my messages. Mm -hmm. 
So this one, this one is super important to me because this one is the little Skittle Award for the little cats. Well, technically the biggest cat, second biggest cat. And I do not have the heart to cut through it. So this is going to be one. And then this will be one. And I'm not a brand person, but maybe some of these brands need to be our friends. Skittles always have a special place in my heart because they are the rainbow. And I have a Skittle. Well, this one doesn't even say, oh, just, just to see it. All right, so since we have a larger canvas, that's what we're doing. We're just doing an art project. Patriot Day, International Peace Day. That's an extra day, actually. Questions, YouTube, Michelle, fix it. You know, another thing that you guys could do, hypothetically, maybe, is like tables. And I know somebody actually had to be looking underneath the table, but if you have a sticker, like exactly where I'm at. And you could like put it under the table like you used to put gum underneath the table. And then maybe like if somebody goes and like looks under the table, there's a sticker. And then they're like, hey, I gotta look at this because like this is really coincidental and cool. Coincidences do happen. You know, maybe, just maybe, somebody needs a little happy in their life. And maybe that's all that the world needs. You know, not all this big dream stuff. Like just, I don't know, people having fun. And if this does blow up and do the viral thing, um, you guys have to be patient with me because I am one person. So it's not like I have tons and tons of time. But if you have a good cause, then I will help you as much as I can. I'll give you videos. And then if other people ask for the same thing, then it would be really nice of you to be like, oh, she already answered this, here's the video. And then if they have a question after that, then they comment on that video, then I'll make another video. And it'll just be this whole thing where all I do is talk to myself all day long and people will think I'm a cuckoo bird. But it's fine. So I talk to myself all the time anyways. Maybe somebody will keep it because I've been dazzled it. Maybe I should just like do these and do a printer. There you go. I'm gonna take a picture. I love this one. And here's another part of my Skittles. Another thing's gonna totally go up in my face. Oh, <laughs> uh, husband cat's going to be so mad at me. But, you know, I don't live vicariously through him. And he is not responsible for his wife's actions. Nope, nope, nope. Especially not when like, you know, blood sugar issues and like, just a manic woman. I always do what I think is best for my children at the time. And it's not like there aren't other experiences where I've seen people do it and it's like, oh, ha, 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 that's so funny. Just a different approach. And the person's going to think that I'm talking about me being super special, but 
it's actually that it's this. are there going to be in this place um since this is such a special place like in the event that i was to do this then i would you know only do my bedazzled ones coming off the flight 451 with service from chicago your bags are going to be coming out from carousel 2 located on level one please double check names and plane your bags off the belt as many bags do look alike we do happen to take the long ride home it will be your responsibility to return your bag Shut 
national service to the Triple Jump. Remember to always visit YMSY.com before leaving home from the airport to see real time parking availability and rates. This one's a messed up one, it's gonna have to start. It's super special. And I've decided that once these are done, these. Once these are done, I am going to price. And then we won't be looking at these anymore. Because they're going to go out of my bag and they're not going to out. This is just going to be an experiment to see how far a mommy cat's love can stretch with social media and strategic, maybe, marketing and maybe help from other grown-ups, like maybe the ones that are viewing and not so much grown-ups, like maybe some of the ones that are just like sad in a bathroom stall and they need to know that somebody cares about them and so they have a question to ask and then they find my channel and they're like, hey, this is a mom and like she knows a bunch of different random stuff because I keep hearing like you're a mentor and you're this and you're that and lots of other stuff and like guys, gals, me's, nose. This is this is how you help people be happy cats.